Hi Briars, today we look at another five awesome South African innovations. Being South African, it's not surprising that a gun made the list. However, this is a special type of gun, a speed gun. The speed gun was invented by Capetonian engineer Henry Johnson in 1992. It uses radar radio waves to measure very small speed and angle changes in moving objects. The International Cricket Council decided they can't do without it and it's been used in the Cricket World Cups and golf tournaments ever since. Don't get too excited though, it's also used to catch speeding cars. Thanks Henry. Ever since cell phones got internet, Mixit has had millions of teenagers finding creative ways to text in class and teachers trying to figure out how to pronounce M-X-I-T. Developed by Herman Hiernes in 2003, it has become many Africans' alternative to the high cost of SMS. Unlike other social media apps, it works on feature phones, and this has helped Mixit to spread to millions of African phones, many of which on smartphones. With 7.4 million active subscribers in 2013, it's easy to see why Mixit has been hailed as Africa's biggest social network. The invention of X-ray technology was a fantastic one for medicine, allowing us to look into the inner parts of the body. However, the 2D images are hard to work with, with a very precise study of medicine. Well, that is until South African-born Alan Cormack teamed up with Godfrey Hounsfield to invent 3D scanning. CT scans scan from every angle and use a mathematical algorithm to form a three-dimensional image which can be virtually sliced. Alan and Godfrey's work earned them a shared Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1979. Take a whole lot of light, focus it in one place, vibrate it at a certain frequency and you have got yourself a laser. Lasers are used in technology all around us, from speeding up your internet and fiber optics to barcode scanners, from helping people in laser surgery to hurting people in laser sights on guns. But to get a laser to do exactly what you want it to do, take some bulky and pricey equipment. Well, that is until CSIR researcher Sandile Ngobo and a team led by Professor Andrew Forbes developed the digital laser in 2013. In conventional lasers, light can only be altered after it exits the laser. The digital laser allows one to change the light before it even leaves the laser, all at the touch of a button. This works out cheaper as one laser can do a lot of many jobs. Searching for a full fingerprint through a database takes a lot of time and a lot of computer power. That is why Ishmael Msiza worked with the CSIR in 2011 to develop a system that searches using partial fingerprints. The information can be separated into pieces and searched much easier and much faster too. The idea is that developing a quick, strong South African biometric system will help to combat identity theft. I bet you didn't know that South Africans were this innovative. If you are a South African scientist looking to showcase your work on the show, please contact us in the links down in the description below. And until next time, stay sizzling. Like, share and subscribe to The Cybri Show. Check out cybri.co.za and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.